Hello everybody, Andrea Trowski here with Dental Health Tutoring. So a lot of you have been asking me if you're just out of high school or you're thinking about a career in dental but you're not sure what you want to do. So you're thinking, do I want to become a hygienist or an assistant? Now I was an assistant first, but I did always know that I wanted to be a dental hygienist since I was a kid. But I'm not saying that dental hygiene is any better than assisting. It's just that is just something that I wanted to do more of. So I'll give you guys sort of a recap on the differences. So dental assisting, that's those are the ones who help out the dentist. Okay, so pretty much with, with everything. So they seat the patient, they clean up the room afterwards. They set up the room, they um, sterilize the instruments. You would pass the um, instruments to the dentist for all of the um, procedures. In some cases, you might be on the phones, booking appointments, um, confirming appointments. Um, let's see, what else did I do when I was an assistant? So just pretty much think wherever the dentist is, you are too, if that makes sense. Whereas a dental hy um, hygienist, we are the ones that clean teeth. So we aren't working with the dentist per se, but we do have to ask them to come in at the end of the appointment to check the patient to see if they have any cavities. Plus in some offices, the dentist will also come in to make sure we clean the teeth properly, okay? So we clean the teeth, we give patients oral hygiene inst um, instruction, we, um, you know, it doesn't sound like we do a lot, but we do do a lot. Um, but it just depends on what you want to do. And money shouldn't be the reason for wanting to do something or not wanting to do something. I loved being a dental assistant, but I wanted to work sort of on my own a little bit more. You know, what I always felt was if the dentist took holidays. Well, I had to take holidays at the same time because I worked with the dentist. So if they weren't there, then I was not there either. If I wanted to take a holiday outside of that time, unless I could find somebody to cover for me, I couldn't. Whereas a dental hygienist, usually, but not always, you can take holidays whenever you want because you're not directly working with the dentist. But it does depend on the office though. There are offices that, for example, shut down for a week or two every year around Christmas time. And they will tell you that that's the only time that um, you can take your holidays. Or they might shut down for a week or two during the summer. And then they, they would tell you that that's the only time that you're, you're um, able to take holidays. So I'm not trying to make it sound like an assistant job or a hygiene job is bad because you can't take holidays. But I'm just the type of person where I like to be as flexible as possible. You know, I don't want somebody telling me when I can take holidays, but I'm not saying that that's a bad thing either. So if you're not sure what you want to do, just, you know, if, think about it, you know, just think about it. But if you're just honestly not sure at all, then I do say that it's a good idea to become an assistant first. So then you're not spending as much money for school and you can kind of get into an office and look at everything. You get a pretty good idea of the first, I'd say after the first week or two, sort of how things are run. You know, before I became an assistant, I had no idea. You know, as a patient, you do not see how things are run behind the scenes. But as an assistant, you have a pretty good idea. Now, I was an assistant for at least two years, I think even three years. And then I went to school for hygiene, but I was still um, assisting at the same time. And I loved it. I did, you guys, but I just I, I just always liked being able to work on my own, if that makes sense. Um, and then I became a hygienist after that, and I loved it, you know, same thing. I worked full time in an office for about 10 years, but then I decided to become a temp hygienist about a year ago, I'd say now, because I like to be able to set my own hours. I like to be able to set my own schedule. So that's why I'm a temp um, dental hygienist. So pretty much if offices need me, they call me and I say yes or no. And where I live, I could have a call every single day. And it just depends on if I want to work or not. But it depends on where you live too, because you might not have 
that option. So if you become either a temp hygienist or a temp assistant, you might not get a call every day. So you have to think about, well, do I want the steady income? Yes or no. Okay, so just kind of a couple things to think about. I do hope that that helps a little bit. Um, if you guys have any questions though, let me know. But if you're just absolutely not sure what you want to do, then it can't hurt to even ask um, other dental assistants, you know, just to ask them. So how would you explain what, um, what you do or to ask a, hy um, a hygienist? So how would you explain sort of what you do? So think about it. Um, they are both excellent. I love them. Um, it just sort of depends on what you want to do. So I hope that helped you guys. If you need anything, just let me know.